Hey everyone, if you're dealing with a wasp infestation around your home, we have got some helpful tips and methods to get rid of those stinging pests safely and effectively. Wasps can be dangerous, especially if you or someone in your family is allergic to their venom. So it's important to take the proper precautions and act quickly before the situation gets out of hand. Now before you even think about trying to remove a nest yourself, it is recommended to put on some protective gear. Long sleeves, pants, closed toe shoes, gloves and ideally a face mask or goggles. Wasps are extremely territorial and will fiercely defend their nest if threatened, so you don't want to get stung if you can avoid it. One popular method is using store-bought wasp traps. These have an attractant lure inside that draws the wasps in, and a one-way entrance design that traps them so they can't escape. For best results, place a few traps downwind from any outdoor areas you spend time in. Bait them with sugary water or fruit if they don't come with a lure included. If you've located the actual nest, you can try spraying it directly with an insecticide formulated for wasps and hornets. This should be done very early in the morning or late at night when the wasps are less active and more docile. Dowsing the entire nest thoroughly will kill the wasps as they return and come into contact with the insecticide residue. Another option that's less risky than getting up close to the nest is using a powder or dust insecticide designed for ground nests and treating the area around the nest. The wasps will pick up the dust as they enter and exit, transferring it throughout the colony. You can also create a perimeter spray around your home's entrance areas to kill any wasps trying to fly inside. You can also try a couple of homemade remedies. The first is mixing a solution of dish soap and water, about two tablespoons of soap per two cups of water. Pour this into a spray bottle and literally spray it directly onto the nest and surrounding areas. The soap clogs the wasps' breathing pores, effectively suffocating them. Just be very cautious about getting too close when applying it. Another homemade option is creating a simple wasp trap using an old soda bottle. Cut off the top portion where it starts to slope inwards, then flip that piece upside down and insert it into the bottle's opening, creating a funnel shape. Mix up a bait solution of something sugary like soda or juice combined with a protein source like lunch meat or cat food. The wasps will be lured in by the bait but won't be able to escape back out through the funnel opening. If you find a nest that's located in a precarious spot indoors or on the ground level, it's honestly best to call in a professional exterminator to handle it. Their protective gear and specialized equipment allows them to more safely remove and treat the nest with minimal risk of getting stung. Don't take chances with nests that are located in high traffic areas or easily accessible by kids and pets. Remember, wasps can be extremely aggressive when their nest is disturbed, so use extreme caution if attempting any DIY methods yourself. Never approach a nest without protective clothing and have an escape plan mapped out in case the wasps become agitated. Keep in mind that stronger repellents and sprays may also be harmful to plants, so avoid spraying directly on vegetation. It's always advisable to have any stings treated properly as well. Wasp venom can trigger severe allergic reactions in some people. Clean the sting site thoroughly with soap and water, take an oral antihistamine to reduce swelling, and apply a cold pack along with calamine lotion or hydrocortisone cream to help relieve itching and discomfort. Those are some of the top methods for getting rid of nuisance wasps and eliminating their nests around your yard and home. Remember, while wasps serve an important role as predators in nature, they can become a real headache when they decide to set up camp too close for comfort. Don't hesitate to bring in professional help if a nest appears too large or hazardous to tackle on your own. Stay safe, watch out for stains, and I hope these tips allow you to take back your outdoor spaces from those pesky wasps.